Okay, so now we're going to look at a condition in C++ and conditions basically allow us to jump to different lines of code based on the value of a Boolean expression or a Boolean variable. So condition is what would go inside like an if statement or a while statement for example. And let's say we have a Boolean condition, so I'm just going to call this condition and I'm going to hard code this to true. Again, I don't have to put this as true, I can put this as an expression that evaluates to true or I can set this to 1. And by the way, you can set this to any number other than 0 and it will be treated as true. It's not just 1. So anything that's not 0 is treated as true. So I'm just going to write this as true for now. And let's say I have, an, I have an integer x equals 0. And what I can do here is I can say something like if condition equals true, then I can say um, x equals 1. So I can change the value of x if condition is true. And by the way, I can also change this to equals 1 or, you know, um, or like that by itself. And if I want to do false, I can say false like this or equals equals 0. Or I can put condition by itself with an exclamation mark like this. So those e equate to false and these equate to true. But as far as we're concerned, this part right here checks if it's true. And basically what happens here is it moves to this line and then it will check the value of condition and it will check if it's zero or not. Because I remember I said zero is false and everything else is considered true. And if it's not if it's equal to zero, what it will do is it will jump to line nine and continue execution from there. And if it's something other than zero, which implies that it's true, then it will continue as normal into line seven right here. And and to understand this better, what we can actually do is we can, instead of compiling this into an executable, we can actually make um, the assembly file or the machine instructions that will then be compiled into binary and we can take a look at what's actually happening. And to do that, you do G++ and then you put dash O0 like this and that will just get rid of the optimization because it cuts out some code if it thinks we don't need it. And then if we put slash dash S, capital S like this, and then the name of our file, it will actually compile the assembly instructions for us. And if I press enter here, we can see that this demo.s has been generated right here. But I've already compiled it beforehand and I've added some comments, so I'll just pull up the one that I did before, which is this one right here. And we can just look through the, the code right here. And you can see what's happening here. So um, ignore most of this right here. This is just the set part, and we can see the main method gets started here and we can see that um, by the way just think the minus one is where our boolean gets stored and we put one into there right here so we put one true into the boolean register and then we put zero into integer register which is minus eight and then what's happening here is that the minus one register or the boolean register is compared to zero so it's checking for a false and then what's happening is that we have it saying that if it's equal, so this jump equals means if the previous condition was equal. So if this Boolean register contains zero and therefore it was false, then it says jump to L2. And as you can see, L2 here basically just puts zero as the return value and then returns it for us. So it just jumps to this line. So this line right here is considered L2. And if that was not the case and it wasn't equal to zero, so this was true or any other value that evaluates to true, we can see that then um, one gets moved into the minus eight register, which is where our integer is. So again, what's happening here is if this is if this condition is evaluated as false, it's been told to jump straight to line nine or L2 in this case and just return our value. Otherwise, what happens is this next line will get executed and we'll have one getting put into the... Um, integer x value right there. So let's ha also have a look at an if else statement. So what I can have here is I can have something like if condition and then I can say else um, x equals 2 like this. And um, again you can just compile this up into, an, into um, an assembly language like this. And again I've compiled it beforehand with comments. And also um, this, this right here is Windows assembly which uh, looks a little different to Mac assembly. Um, you can see that some of the instructions are different, like this one uses test and 
the uh, Windows one, you can see that it uses compares. I find this one a lot easier to understand. Okay, so what's happening here is that once again, we put a one or true into the Boolean register, and then we put zero into the integer register, which is this part right here. And then it compares the Boolean register to zero, so it's still checking if this is equal to zero, because remember, anything else other than zero is considered true, so it checks for false. And what it's saying is that if it's false, so if zero, then it'll skip the next two lines, so it'll it will skip these two lines right here and that basically skips our if statement and it moves it straight to L2 so for example um, in this case uh, L2 would be this part right here so if if this condition is equal to 0 it's been told to jump to L2 which then puts 2 into our integer register as we can see right here and if that wasn't the case and if this wasn't 0 and it was true or 1 or some other number that equates to true we can see that 1 gets put into the register right here and then it says jump to L3 and this part right here is L3 and basically what this makes sure happens is that we skip over the L statement so again it checks the zero right here so if it's zero and if it's false it will run it will jump to this else statement and then continue as normal and if that's not the case it will run this line and then it will jump to l3 or line 11 right here and continue this so i it, only one of these statements will get run at the same time like this so that's essentially how um, conditions work when we think of the actual machine instructions that happen. So now I just have a little demo right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into here. And what this does is it sets this condition as true and then it has integer i equals zero. And we can see that we have if we check if this is equal to true and if that's the case we print out if statement executing and put i to 1 and then otherwise we'll say else statement executing and set i to true 2 and then otherwise and then at the end of both of them we'll increment i by 1 and then we'll print out i so let's compile this up so say g plus plus um dot slash demo dot cpp um dash o dot slash demo like this and let's run it now so so as you can see, when we start off, um, the condition is true. So we can see that the if statement right here gets executed and i gets set to 1 and then 1 is added to i, which makes it 2. If I were to make this any number other than 0, so if I put 68 in here, for example, it should still come up as true when we run it. Yeah, and we can see that the if statement still gets executed. Um, if I were to put zero or false into here, what we should find is that the else statement gets executed. Yep, and we can see that i has been set to 2 and then it's been incremented again and i now becomes 3. So yeah, again, what's happening here is at this part right here, it's figured out that this is equal to 0. So it's skipped to this line right here and it's run this code right here, which is what's happening. Um, again, we don't have to put the, put it like this. We can also put an expression that evaluates to true or false. That's going to evaluate to true because 2 is greater than 0. So if we run that now, we can see that this if statement gets executed right here. So that's essentially how conditions work. It will evaluate a Boolean or an expression to check if it's zero, and then it will jump to the appropriate place or the appropriate line of code and start executing from there based on um, that condition.